My favorite Pilates move for the back is the swimming. And we'll see this as we go along. Now, I just want to say that if you have back issues or you have back pain, this is actually not the best exercise to start with. You wanna build other things first. But we're gonna go ahead and do the swimming. You're a, you're a healthy body and you're ready for this. I'm gonna do it in two ways. The first is slightly modified and the second is full. So we're gonna come onto our stomach. We're gonna engage our powerhouse, of course. You're not gonna be able to see it so much because I'm on my tummy, but as I'm over there, I'm engaging this. I'm using all of these muscles like a corset, really holding my supports, like an inner back brace. So coming down. Your legs are gonna be together. They're not apart. We wanna really work the base of the butt and the inner thighs as well as the extension of the back. So we're gonna take the legs up off the ground. You wanna keep them long. And again, your powerhouse is in. This first version of the swimming, I'm gonna bring my arms back behind me and then I'm gonna look straight ahead so my neck is really extended and I'm gonna flutter kick my legs like I'm going across a lane in a pool. Now this is working my back muscles. Everything's an extension. Everything has to work to hold me up. To bring this into the next level, you can bring your arms out to the sides. I don't like you're flying. Your tummy's in. And then to do the full version of the swimming, you bring the arms forward and you flutter kick your arms and your legs. Breathing and reaching and then finish. As a counter to the swimming, we sit back over the knees and we stretch the back the other way. Head goes down, hands go on the ankles and just relax your back. And then coming up. So again, this is a truly intermediate exercise. You need to have a lot of core strength, but once you get up, the full version will get your entire back working together and really strengthen you.